This is what can happen when a modern passenger jet, the kind of plane you fly in, crashes on landing. The FAA staged this controlled crash in 1984. A fireball engulfs the jet as one wing rips away from the body. Now, let's roll back nearly 65 years to January 13, 1935, and watch what happens when a Bernelli model UB-14 cartwheels on takeoff and slams into the ground sideways at 130 miles per hour. No fire, and everyone walks away unharmed. As we approach the next century, more airplanes will fly more passengers, more miles. Analysts expect the number of accidents to rise. Even Boeing admitted last year that we're probably going to have one crash a week, one fatal crash a week. Well, this is crazy. Chalmers Goodland has been a pilot since 1939. He was the first test pilot for the Bell X-1 plane that broke the sound barrier. And for nearly 50 years, he's been fighting politicians, bureaucrats, and aircraft companies who he claims have crafted a conspiracy to keep you from flying in a safer plane. They will, and have, sacrificed thousands of lives when they know that there is a safer airplane available. And that safer plane, he says, the plane that slammed into the ground sideways, had its origins in 1921 the brainchild of the late aircraft designer Vincent Bernelli. Goodland flew a Bernelli model CBY-3 and was impressed. I thought, why the hell have we been flying this other junk? It was such a delightful airplane to fly. It had the right uh, uh, stability and control. Bernelli utilized a lifting body design. That means the body of the plane helps lift it off the ground. Since the, the body of the aircraft is integrated in with the wings, the whole uh, surface area of the aircraft is used to produce lift and so it's a more efficient design you know for certain conditions so he says Bernelli's planes could land at speeds slower than conventional aircraft making them safer during takeoffs and landings the times most accidents occur from the state safety standpoint it is a pretty much optimum design yet commercial jetliners are not designed that way problems with the engines or landing gear can ignite the wing fuel tanks and the tanks under the passenger compartment the Brunelli design places the engines and landing gear above and below the passenger compartment, far from the wing fuel tanks. Goodland says it's cheaper to build and very fuel efficient. And experts say the Brunelli fuselage is far less likely to split apart on impact. So if the Brunelli design is so safe and so superior, why hasn't it been incorporated into modern aircraft? Why do we still fly in planes that critics claim are death traps? And why wasn't Brunelli able to find a company willing to build his visionary plane? Because the finance people say, well, if, if Boeing or Lockheed are interested in this design, obviously, and, and, and the Pentagon, they won't buy it. Where is your future? Goodlin, now president of the Brunelli company, claims it's a conspiracy dating back to 1939, when the United States was gearing up for World War II. The chief of the Army Air Corps, General Hap Arnold, wrote his bosses praising the Brunelli design, saying, it is essential in the interest of the national defense that this procurement be authorized. But Brunelli's financial backer was a Republican, a political foe of President Roosevelt. And there, Goodland charges, lies the root of the plot. A secret report in 1941 would contradict General Arnold, concluding, this design is of no interest to the Air Corps. Unfortunately, the military-industrial complex maintained the validity of this 1941 report that condemned the Bernoulli design. And even as recently as August 4th of this year, the Defense Department wrote Goodland, the Air Force considers this matter closed. Yet check out the B-2 stealth bomber. And how about the Air Force workhorse, the F-15 fighter? Do the designs look familiar? From a moral standpoint and a legal standpoint, uh, Bernelli has, still owns the rights to these. Not so, say aircraft manufacturers. Boeing claims Boeing has had no access to any Bernelli proprietary information. But look at Boeing's own promotional video for its joint strike fighter now under development. You decide. The other aerospace giants claim the new civilian megaplanes in the planning stages are flying wings or blended body designs, though they too bear an uncanny resemblance to Brunelli's lifting body design, 
50 years ago. Chalmers Goodwin expects to see Bernelli-inspired civilian planes on the runway over the next decade, but he raises the troubling questions. Why has it taken so long to build a plane using Vincent Bernelli's safer design? And over the past half century, why did so many people have to die? I'm Alan Gerstel, Fox 29.